We're doing some man stuff today. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. In today's episode, we're tackling creating a siphon tube for your chem chemical tank. Let's jump right in. Uh, these are the materials. Again, guys, I got everything, pretty much almost everything at Lowe's, and this is what you're going to need. This is a two foot. You buy this in the plumbing section of, I got it at Lowe's. You can get it at Home Depot, but this is a um, two foot one and a quarter one and a quarter inch wide pipe again two feet and then you're going to buy an elbow you see that guys an elbow which is also one and a quarter you're going to buy a plug which is also one and a quarter and you're going to buy a cap which is also one and a quarter and then at the very end this is what the siphon tube at the very end is going to look like okay so this is kind of our objective is to create this the other thing that you're going to need, guys, is uh, your siphon hose. Again, I bought a Lowe's. And all you got to do to remember is the ID, the interior diameter, the, the inside diameter, one and a quarter, and the outside diameter, three eighths. You'll see it on the actual label. ID, one and a quarter, or a quarter, not one and a quarter, but a quarter, and then OD, three eighths. So one quarter and three eighths. And then the other thing that you're going to need, guys, is um, you're going to need a, a two drill bits, quarter inch and a half inch drill bit. You're going to need some, you can get, it doesn't have to be this brand, but it can be any, but you're going to need some uh, plumbing uh, cement <coughs> for a PVC cement. The other thing is, uh, this is are the only two things to do this to do this siphon tube that we could not find at Lowe's so we buy a bunch of these on Amazon this you buy on Amazon you see that piece guys it's got a little hose barb there so this is also one and a quarter and three eighths so that's easy to remember now this little guy right here this filter guys I order this on pressuretech.com I've mentioned it before in other sites it's a it's a I mean in um, in other videos and it's a site where we get a lot of our equipment chemicals and and so forth but anyway i will put the 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 link to it here on the screen now so go ahead and order that again uh pressuretech.com you see that it's a quarter inch filter okay so you got that there and we got this next you're going to need for this project you're going to need well let me tell you this guys if you're serious about uh, owning a or starting a pressure washing business for beginners there's two basic drills that you're going to need you're going to need a regular drill we just go with the wall because we love the wall so it's super sturdy but you're also going to need a heat gun you will not be able to survive in a pressure washing business without a heat gun we use this for all kinds of plumbing purposes and you're going to see today when we create our siphon tube for the pressure washing business okay so let me show you the last thing that you're going to need guys is going to be a big shocker to you guys you would never assume this or you would never think about this cat eye marbles again i ordered this from amazon it came in a bag like this cat eye marbles they're super tiny marbles and you'll see in the end uh what we use these for so the first thing that we're going to do here guys with our siphon tube it's very important when i first started uh my company um i ran into an issue where the siphon tube like it, you know i would put the the tube through here and then i would just dump this in my chemical and then for whatever reason my chemical would stop working i'd go to the tank and what it was was this would be floating on the top and i'm going to show you guys how we solve that problem so here you go first thing you're going to do oh and by the way guys whether your shop is in your garage your basement uh, maybe a shed in the back or you have a storage uh, unit somewhere you want to make sure you get yourself a good vice grip we got this one i mean this has been on here probably oof, at least eight or nine years now and it's we got this originally at um, harbor freight I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks but anyway you will not survive very long in a business without a really really good vice grip so here you go 
So we're gonna put this in the vise. And not too tight, guys, because, you know, it's PVC, it will break. So just tight enough so it doesn't come off. Then we're gonna take our, our Dewell drill, and we're going to put, uh, this is the, the quarter inch drill bit on there, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill three holes in our siphon tube all the way through, okay? And it's one in the beginning, one in the middle, and one in the end, just like so. Got it on level two. Just like that. Hole number one is done. In the middle. Just drill the middle one. And there you go, guys. So if you if you look on here, uh, I've drilled three holes in a pipe and it's all the way through. And the, the purpose for this, guys, is so the chemical can also get in here and air can get out. So the, the reason why these things will float is because air traps it in there and it floats to the top. So we solved problem number one. But now we need to weigh it down, hence the marbles. So this is how we're going to do it. The next thing that we're going to do after we've drilled our PVC pipe, we're going to change our drill bit from the, the quarter one to the half inch one, like so. So we got the half inch drill bit in there, like so, ready to go. And we're gonna start with the cap. We're gonna create our holes for the tubing to go through. Again, guys, you want to be as gentle as possible here with the vice grip, because again, it's PVC, it will break. Take your drill right in the middle, you want to make a hole. Here you go guys you see that made a hole straight in the middle there good to go now our siphon tube can go through there we want to make sure uh, first to test it uh, to see if we need to widen it a little bit okay and there you go guys look at that it's perfect go going right through there so that's done now we need to create a little hole same thing drill a little hole on in our plug okay so we're gonna do that again be super gentle with the vice grip it doesn't need a lot just to keep it on there and right in the middle Again, guys, super gentle. It's not one of those things you can do in a hurry. And it only takes, it only takes about, you know, 15, 20 minutes to really create one of these. So, and I'm walking you guys step by step how to create your own siphon tube for your chemical tank. So, you can see in here, guys, um, right through the middle, we're good to go. We're also going to test this one out just to make sure. And there you go, guys, right through the middle. You see that? Right through so now we now the next step we're gonna rip this little tag off because when we put it in uh in the the pipe it's gonna it's gonna block our path there and this this by the way guys is 20 feet very important do not cut this to 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 maybe uh because you truck you only need four or five feet and you think you only need four or five feet as time wears on you're going to cut these from your from your hose barb on your downstream injector right because this is where this goes right and as you cut several times this this hose will shorten and shorten and shorten so you want to make sure you keep the entire 20 feet okay and then like like i showed you the downstream injector at the very end we'll put everything together in the downstream injector itself so you can see what that looks like what the end product looks like okay so now that we have everything drilled okay we don't need our DeWalt drilled anymore, so we'll set that to the side. We're still going to need our, our, um, our heat gun, and you'll see that in a second. Okay? So we got our, our tubing here, 20 foot, 20, 20 foot of tubing. And what we're going to do, guys, is this, um, 
this hose barb with your filter, your little tiny little filter. You see that? It has, it's threaded. What we're going to do is we're just going to put that in there and twist. You see that? Put that together like that. It's on there tight. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just like that. Look at that, guys. You see that? So that way, no rocks, debris, leaves, and stuff will get inside your your siphon tube and make its way into your into your your um, your pump. Um, but they, but anyway, so that's what it looks like. Again, I ordered this on Amazon. This on Pressure Tech. Now the issue here, guys, is that this tubing it's very hard to put it on here. You see it? I mean, it's I could and then I might break this if I if I go too hard. So what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna heat it up just a little bit with my heat gun. I'm just testing it here against my skin. There you go. So again, I'm not putting it super close. I got it on high heat, and I'm just I'm making it. I'm making the rubber around real soft. It's already almost getting there already, and I just keep twisting it around like this until it's. Ooh, it's already getting there, guys. So I keep twisting it, twisting it. And the great thing about doing it this way, guys, is that once this thing hardens, oh, look at that, it's already there, guys. Once this already hardened, when this hardens, it's going to mold its way, it, the, the shape of it will mold, and I don't know if you can see that, guys, look at that. You see that? And that ain't going nowhere. And like I said, once this, this, this hardens again, it's going to mold itself to that barb. So that's what you want. That's what the end product you want that to look like, okay? So now this part is done. We're going to take this part, the other end, and we're going to we're going to run our our not the not the the not the cap, but this plug that goes in the very uh in the the front of the siphon tube. So we're going to run that through there like so. You see that? Super easy. So if you run this all the way to the end like this, guys, this is what your siphon tube is going to look like in the end. You see that? Okay? So that way nothing can get through there. The next thing we're going to push through the tubing is your elbow. Look at that. You're going to put your elbow through there, and then you're going to put your pipe through there. Your PVC again it's two two feet and it's a uh, it's an inch and a quarter so there you go guys so I push up this all the way through and this is what it looks like at the end you see that okay you see that that's what it's going to look like at the end now the last piece that we're gonna put through is your cap okay so put your cap through like so not like this. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Got twisted up here in my leg. So you want to put it through like this, so this end is going to go on a the pipe. There you go. Ooh. Okay, there we go. There we go, guys. There you go. You don't want that very wide anyway. But it's exactly, that's why we use that half inch. There you go. So just like that, guys. Look at that. Boom. Now, obviously, we're going to put the, that's what the, the PVC cement is for. You see that, guys? Okay. So now, we're, we're, we're only going to put the cement here at the very end. We're going to go ahead and cement this end right here. These pieces together. And this is how we're going to do that. Okay, first, we're going to start with this piece right here. All you're going to do is you're gonna grab your PVC again it doesn't matter the brand or anything like that your PVC all-purpose cement you're gonna take that like so and you're just gonna put it around this pipe right here you see that guys and you just want to be put it on there you know it you don't have to use too, too, uh, too much, but you want to get it all the way around. And then you want to st stick that in there real good. You see that? And then just push. Again, in about two or three hours, this thing's going to harden like cement. Now we're going to do this side right here. Look at that, guys. 
just like so just like so and done then we're gonna stick that in here okay there you go the the, the cement is in there the PVC cement now <clears throat> I was saying about the the tube the siphon tube floating in the in the chemical tank that is why a few years ago what I did to fix the problem is I switched to putting marbles in there and again what the marbles do is it weighs down the pipe you don't have to put a whole heck of a lot I would say about maybe 20 that's kind of like what I do I've already put about six seven in there this is gonna be about 15 marbles it's already getting kind of kind of heavy already so I'll do about I would say about four handfuls this is my third okay there you go again you're ordering cat eye marbles it's a bag I think I paid like five or six bucks on Amazon and there you go one more you see that it's a handful of about eight or nine just like that I put the marbles in there boom okay I don't know if you guys can see all the way in there but it's full of marbles already it's about to about right here about right there full of marbles and you have your holes so your air and then also your chemical can get in there and chemical will still come out but this there's no way that this is going to uh, flow to the top this will stay at the bottom of your tank next guys we want to put pvc cement right here hey waldorf there's a new 7 -11 so here you go right here bam Find all your favorites like Big Bite Hot Dogs, pizza, there you pizza, go, guys. Bagels, and that's that's pretty much all you need to do, guys. To get back on the go. That's all you need to do here. Check out what's new with coffee from sub. And then we're gonna put this together right here. Bam. Wow. There you go. There you go. You see that, guys? This is for any tank. It doesn't matter if you have a a vertical tank a horizontal tank <coughs> our tank happens to be a 50 gallon horizontal tank but this is good to go for any tank you see that and then this will go in your in your sauce and then this other hand and here you know for you guys that are your know, first year in the industry that is your downstream injector guys that's why we call it downstreaming because it comes from the name of this part this is the part that actually draws the soap and all you got to do is just stick that in there like that you put this this end in your machine and boom the chemical will shoot out on that end and there you have it guys congratulations you just learned how to make your first professional siphon tube